Today we're making the most amazing hot fudge molten chocolate cake. This is the coziest chocolate cake to make on a cold winter day. Believe it or not, it's only five ingredients in total and super quick to make. A big thank you to Dreo for sponsoring today's video. This recipe requires five ingredients in total, which means you guessed that it takes five minutes to make. Yes, you'll have to wait for the cake to bake, but the preparation itself is super quick and easy. It's a one bowl recipe anybody can make in minutes. In a large bowl, I've combined hot melted butter, sugar, and cocoa powder. You want to make sure that butter is hot because it's going to bloom the cocoa, giving this cake a rich, intense, delicious chocolate flavor. You want to mix these ingredients until well combined and add the flour. Now you'll notice that once you add the flour, your batter will form clumps. I would use an electric mixer if you have one, otherwise it's, it's going to be a workout. It was not a good day, okay? As soon as you don't see any more flour, you can stop mixing and add the eggs. As you mix the batter, it will start to look a lot more like a cake batter consistency. It will go from clumps to a beautiful, smooth cake batter. If you're new to my channel, by the way, hello there. Welcome. Make sure to subscribe and click that bell. I post new videos every week. After a minute or so, you should get this thick, almost brownie batter consistency. That's what we want. Scrape the bottom and sides of your bowl. I know everybody says this, but it is highly important for this recipe because it's such a thick batter, okay? We want to make sure everything is well combined. Now, believe it or not, your batter is done. We're ready to cook this baby. You're going to transfer your batter into a well buttered and floured cake pan lined with parchment paper. When I say well buttered and floured, I mean it, okay? Like really, really well buttered and floured. Otherwise, it's going to be hell to get this out. Now you can bake this cake using a regular fan assisted oven. I'm gonna bake this cake using my Dreo air fryer. It's gonna cut down on time because this preheats super fast. I'm going to preheat it to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That is 180 degrees Celsius. I really like that it also has these presets and cooking modes. Depending what you wanna cook, what you wanna make, you can use these shortcut functions. It also has a dehydrating option, which I think is pretty cool. You don't wanna be turning on your oven just to dehydrate some fruits. Once your air fryer has preheated, you're going to gently lower your cake into the basket and cook this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for the first 12 minutes. Then lower your temperature to 310 degrees Fahrenheit and cook for another 10 minutes. And I'll show you in just a moment what these temperatures are gonna do to your cake. What I really love about this air fryer is the window. If you pop on the light, you can see exactly what's happening inside. As a baker, I really appreciate that. You don't wanna be opening your oven, you know, to check the cake inside. You don't wanna be lowering that oven temperature and having to continuously you know open the oven door and guessing if the cake is done or not you can just see it through the window if you're looking to buy an air fryer or maybe looking for a nice Christmas gift for your friends and family I'll leave a link in the description box comes with tons of recipes by the way Drea was so kind to sponsor today's giveaway they're giving away this air fryer to one of you guys I'll leave more info at the end of this video like I said the remaining 12 minutes you want to lower that temperature to 310 degrees Fahrenheit so until Total, this cake needs to cook 22 minutes. The first 10 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, the last 12 minutes at 310 degrees Fahrenheit. The initial high temperature will form a crispy crust on top of your cake, kind of like a brownie top, but the inside will be molten. It's gonna be delicious. After 22 minutes, your cake should be done. This cake needs to come out of the oven before it's fully baked through. The top will be cracked, it will have a crispy dome, and if you gently press on it, you'll notice the inside will be undone. That is what we're looking for. Consider this a giant molten cake. You're going to gently release the cake from the sides of the pan and this needs to rest for 20 minutes inside the pan. If you take it out now, it's just gonna fall apart. However, if you don't want the fuzz, you can use a nonstick pan or even better, a deep dish baking dish and just serve it, you know, in the dish with a spoon. For all of you who are risky, you can do a little prayer before you take this out. So you're going to wait 20 minutes, then gently flip it over and remove the parchment paper. Now you have to dust the top with either icing sugar or cocoa powder and serve this while it's still warm. You can add some ice cream. I've tried this with a dollop of vanilla ice cream and I'm telling you, it does not get more cozy and comforting than this warm gooey cake on a winter day. I think this looks absolutely beautiful and awkward, okay? But that's the beauty of this cake. The combination of that crispy crust and that molten filling is 
everything. Whether you're a brownie edge person or a middle piece person, this chocolate cake combines the best of both worlds. Before you go, comment below hashtag Dreo for a chance to win this Dreo air fryer. The rules for the giveaway will be in the description box below.